And let us begin Fantasy Sleepers list for the year 2013 in Major League Baseball. We're going to start off at the catcher position. And we will start off with Wilson Rosario. This guy, I actually did, had no clue existed until my friend told me uh, about him after the season. It's kind of crazy because this guy had better stats than Bryce Harper in uh, most categories. So let's go ahead and compare. And uh, we have they both batted 270. Rosario had 28 home runs. Bryce Harper had 22. Rosario had 71 RBIs. Bryce Harper had 59. So if you compare in the, the you know those kind of general categories that everybody kind of looks to the uh, average home runs RBIs, you see Rosario is is better than him. And the, the the point here is that a lot of people find Bryce Harper to be already elite, this uh, young prodigy who's uh, going to dominate the league for years to come. Now I don't necessarily disagree with that, but uh, I, I think that Harper was overrated and shouldn't have won the Rookie of the Year. Uh, looking back on it, I think Rosario should have won the Rookie of the Year. But that's just to give you kind of an idea of how good Will, uh, Will and Rosario is. The guy had better stats than the and our Rookie of the Year, so he, he's pretty good. Uh, obviously, any guy who can try the ball in Colorado is going to, if you can just get it in the air, hit it hard, you're, you're going to hit home runs. You're going to get it out. And uh, this guy clearly can do that. So if the catching can kind of be a, a thin market, so this guy would be a strong pick to take. And we are a potential fantasy sleeper, introducing number 13, Salvador Perez, number 13. Uh, this guy uh, plays for the Kansas City Royals. He uh, did pretty good, kind of came out of nowhere, only played 76 games for the Royals, but he did hit 301, had 11 home runs, 39 RBIs. So even though it's a small sample size, it's a good, you know, the results are good. If you were to, say, average it out by the patterns of, you know, what he, if you would have gone through all those games at that pace, I assume that you would find that he'd be up there uh, amongst the elites because that that's, a, that's he's at a good pace. So my gander here is, is that he's going to keep that up. Now, the AL Central is obviously one of the weaker divisions. The Tigers are great. Uh, nobody's going to, you know, say, I'm not saying that. I, I hate them, but I'm not going to say that they're terrible. But the, the rest of the teams there uh, aren't that great. Uh, lack pitching. So this guy is going to have uh, more looks against those teams. So he'll, he'll get some good pitches to hit. This guy is also, you know, if you can't, like I said, the, the catcher market is thin. So if you need a catcher and this guy's available, he's not going to disappoint you.